these types of comments generally prevail. Despite the video evidence of Shanann describing a bedtime routine that was completely sans the cuddles. Just went down for their nap. Um, they're sleep trained, so you just put them in their room and they're they're done. So. I was Lori, they're in bed. It don't take me long. They're sleep trained, so I literally just pop them in bed and they're good to go. I don't rock them, don't, don't cradle them. Put them in bed and they're done. Um, the hardest part is changing Cece's diaper. She squirms. Um, luckily Bella's potty trained, so we don't have to worry about her anymore. So since you guys aren't gonna help me, I'm gonna do a pure. Super fast, uh, Lori. Babywise was the best thing I could have ever done for my kids. My friend um, told me about the book Babywise, and I tell you, it's a blessing in disguise because my kids are sleep trained. They have an eating schedule. They have a food schedule. Um, truly, truly, it's been a blessing. So. And this Redditor asked the question we all wanted to know, how the hell did they land on 630? Um, patience with toddlers. Um, my kids are in bed. They went to bed an hour, almost an hour ago. Um, they're in bed by 6.30, 6.45 at night. Um, and then that's our time to have adult time. Um, before it was they had to go to bed at 630 the reason why the whole 630 started was because I needed bed and so did he um, but now we've turned it into I do a couple things that I need to get done Chris takes care of whatever he needs to get done and then we have our time to um, enjoy each other you know watch TV or whatever it is that we decide to do play games or Uno or whatever um, it's it's quality time for me and him because you need that in a relationship when you have kids it's always about the kids and we often forget about ourselves and our, our significant other so I think it's very important and very vital that you spend that time with each other and we definitely get to do that now um, and awake <laughs> we're not sleeping um, or me listening to him snore or vice versa so it's been a blessing um, with that Seriously, I gotta be quiet because the kids are in bed. They went to bed at 6.30. Uh, I'm gonna get these kiddos to bed because obviously um, they're not thriving. <laughs> <laughs> um, they ran out of Thrive K. Um, so I gotta get these kiddos to bed and I'm gonna finish my um, cafe, which is delicious. Um, Awesome. Right, well, and then you're going to bed. Ready? Ready? One, two, two three. Two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> they have it down pat. Awesome. All right, say yes. goodnight. All right. No. <laughs> Thank you for including me. <laughs> no problem. I'm okay, okay. No, I'm going to get um, a loud noise at Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. Kind of. Thunderstorms are usually kind of loud. Yeah. Yeah. But it Okay, can we go back to bed now no. that we saw the show? No. No. no because, 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 it's not, because I, it's not stopping yet. It is, it's just raining now. The hail stopped. The hail stopped, don't mind me, it's late. She was going to be a storm chaser. <laughs> I pray not. I don't want to go back to bed. It's time for bed now. We gotta hurry up and go to sleep because the more sleep we get, the faster we get to North Carolina. Can you say North Carolina?
Good job. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, guys. Um, no, Cece, Chris is laying with her in her bed. Like, we literally, it's 6.30. They go to bed at 6.30. And it just, um, it you downpoured. Can, and the lightning and the wind, uh, the hail was hitting her window. And she got scared. So, I wanted to show her so she knew not to be afraid of it. Um, so now that it's done and it's just pouring, we can go back to bed. So, mommy's got work to do. Um, we're doing good, Mary. It's good hearing from you. Um, I'll be back, guys. I'm going to go put this munchkin back to bed. Say goodbye, Bella. Say bye. Hey, Dreamer. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. So that was about us last night. Man, the girls were scared to death. Cece held her ears all night long. All night. And it stopped when we left her room. We left, stayed in her room until it stopped. And then she didn't let her ears go because she was still scared of those sounds. Well, we got our rain. We won't need sprinklers for a couple of days. Nick, it's coming your way if he hasn't hit you. Doesn't matter how bad things were. She has she has rules. <laughs> you know, she, she has a way of doing things. Right. Come rain, shine, or divorce, Meacham, who lived in the home with the Watts family for over two months, was convinced that the altered schedule meant bad news in the Watts home. kids woke up we were having fun we were playing my daughter was two and my youngest was six months old and my two-year-old and I that particular day were just having a blast she has always loved music um, always always loved music she loves to sing she loves to dance and that day I was dancing with her like I, I don't know how long it was but it was a long time um, and she was laughing and this sounds horrible horrible as a mom coming from a mom because um, you don't want to ever hear yourself say something like this but that particular day she was laughing a laugh that literally sent chills through my body I just got chills while saying that um, it was just a, a great feeling to hear my daughter to hear that laugh that I've always dreamt of and it's not that I, she didn't laugh like that before but I enjoyed it like I heard it um, I, I didn't put on a blur if that makes sense like everything was tunneled tunneled out um, and I remember she came up to me with her blankie and she said mommy I tired and I looked at the clock and it was an hour and a half past her night bedtime my kids are baby wise kids they go to bed clockwork it's on schedule every day so I can get rest I have to have rest um, so it was really weird for her to be off schedule and we're not being out of the house. So I put her down and I called my friend and I couldn't thank her enough. Shanann describes events away from the home as the only normal thing that stops the clockwork type bedtime, as she put it. It doesn't seem it was put off for any significant amount of time, though. Their arrival and departure times were considered normal by the Lindstroms and timed accordingly. Was he on time? Mm. <laughs> Give or take, there was no time. Well, I mean, he was a little bit later, but he had mentioned when he got there that the girls had just woken up from their nap. And and nap was very important. Shanann yeah. had these girls on, on a schedule. schedule. Okay, so they were on schedule. Yeah. So nothing there was odd. It's no. just nope. they were ha taking a nap, yeah. and then they showed up. After the cake, it was time for them to go home because their bedtime is 
seven ish. Yeah. Seven ish o'clock. Again, on schedule. On schedule. Those kids are not in their bed. That's that's a big deal. Their routine was completely off, and that's not normal. In two months that I stayed with her, their routine never changed. It's always the same. Like when both Bella and CC were babies, right she had them on this regimen called, I think it was like Baby Sense or something, where every day just they did same thing at the same time so that she could get them on like a set I think our eyes were really Oh, okay. And that's how that's how they go to bed, like. Oh, it did? And now they know every night, you know, they know they have to turn on their white noise machine and get in their bed and kind of said they both went to the bathroom by themselves and they didn't even have to go to the bathroom, which she found pretty impressive for a three or four year old. Hopefully again, because this guy is not fine. <laughs> she's like, yeah. she's like, compared to you know him, they were like super easy to watch. But that's her style of, and she's very consistent with everything. Yeah. She's the one that can come up with an idea, and she will stick it out. Yeah. I just have to play with them, and then at seven o'clock, lay them down for to go to bed. And he so just... he told you to put them down at 7 p.m.? Yes. So I get up because I want to have morning time before the kids get up. All right, that's going to have to do. Um, for me, I just want me time in the morning. Until I, I don't go to bed until 11, 11.30, 12 o'clock, which is my time. Because um, that's my time to, like, do me. Like, read, work, whatever I want to, watch TV. Like, that's me time. Um, and I, I just can't go to bed early. I just don't like to. I was always a late owl. Never a morning person, always a late owl. Sorry. That's what happens when you work from home and you don't have to have um, a schedule. She's so sad. After we, after we go to night, after we go to night, now we can go to school. Class is not going to be here. Okay. But she's not wearing dress. But she's wearing dress. 